Hi everyone, Mrs Stacy here and we're going to do our phonics today. We're going to start our phonics with our flashcards just like we normally do. I'm using the flashcards on Phonics Play and you can go online and look at these flashcards and have a go if you want. We're going to practice our phase five sounds today. I will leave a little pause before each sound and I want to see if you can say the sound before I do. I wonder if you'll be quicker at me than me at knowing your sounds. Let's have a go. Or. Oh. E. Oi. U or U. I or E O Ow U or U. U or U. A. I. Right, I wonder how you did. Did you do better than me? Were you quicker than me at remembering all your sounds? So, well done for practicing your sounds. Now we're going to practice some of our tricky words. These are also called common exception words and all it means is these words you can't sound out. You just have to look at them and learn them. Um, so I wonder, we have been learning these all week, I wonder who can remember how to say these words, who can read these words. So pause the video here and tell your grown-up which words you can read. I wonder how you did. Let's read them together. Some come were there. Well done if you got them all right. Now let's remember what sound we learnt yesterday. We learnt the U or U sound and we learnt the split, split diagraph um, version. So have a look at those words. They've all got that um, sound in them. I wonder how many of those words you can read. I put on the sound buttons to help you there. So pause the video here and have a go. Tell your grown up what those words say. Okay, let's read them together. So, tune, tune. J U N June. That's the month of the year. That's why it's got a capital letter. F L U T flute and K U T cute. Did you get them all right? Maybe you could have a go at putting them in a sentence. Say a sentence with one with each word in. This is our new sound for today. It's, it says E. Now we've learnt lots of different ways to spell E. We've learnt that we can spell E using an E and an E together to make a diagraph. We can spell E with an E and an A. But some words are spelt with a split E. And we've been learning about the split diagraphs all week and the split E works the same way, um, the two letters are split apart and another letter comes in between. So in this word, it's these, we've got v, e, s, and that pops in and goes with, splits the two e's apart. So we've read a word, these, we're going to have, today we're going to have a go 
at writing some E words. So today we're going to have a go at writing some words with that E sound. So the first job you could do is just practice having a go at writing the two E's just so you know how to do that and saying it while you do it because that might help you remember. Um, so I, what we're going to do, I'm going to say a word with a split digraph E in it and you have to write it down to pause the video and write it down and then I will have a go at writing it and you can check your work and give it a tick if you got it right or correct it, write it out again if you got it wrong. So the first word I'm going to ask you to write is the name of somebody. It's the name Eve and Eve is a girl's name. So it's Eve. Eve. Okay. Have you had a go at writing that one? So, because it's a name, it has a capital letter. An e. E. V. Eve. Got the V and the E. Eve. Like I said, it's usually a girl's name and it's also um, in the phrase Christmas Eve, day before Christmas. The next word I'm going to get you to write is also a name. So again, it's going to need a capital letter. And the word, the name is Pete. That's usually a boy's name. Pete. P-E-T. Pause the video and have a go at writing that. How did you do? Did you remember your capital letter? Got your P, then your E, and your T. Pete. P, E, T. Pete. If you got that one right, give it a tick. The next word I'd like you to have a go at writing is a bit longer. It's a vegetable that you often have in a stew. And it's called a swede. 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 Pause the video. Have a go at writing that one. Let's see how you did. So, swede. Duh. And we've got our E there. Swede. Swede. A vegetable. The next word is a bit longer again. This one is quite tricky. It's the word concrete. And concrete is a very hard material um, that is used for building houses and things like that. So the word is concrete. K -o -n -k -r -e -t. C-O-N-C-R-E-T. Probably help to say that word a few times to yourself before you have a go at writing it. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, let's see how you did with a really hard one. K O N K R E T. K O N K R E T. Concrete. I wonder if you got that one right. The last word I want you to write is complete. Complete. That means you've finished something, you've, you've done it all. So the word is complete. Complete. Try saying it, try sounding it out first and then have a go at writing it. Pause the video now. Let's see how you did. K O M P E T. K O M P E T. Complete. They're quite.
tricky the e words so i wonder how you got on remember remember you can email us at year one and let us know how you got on if you wanted an extra challenge there you don't have to do this but if you did want an extra challenge you could try putting some of those words in a sentence writing them in a sentence now we're going to have a go at reading um, these words in a sentence okay so now we're going to have a go at reading some of those split e words in a sentence because of course when you come to do your reading at home you want to be able to recognize recognize those e words don't you and read them when you see them so in this sentence there are two words that have a split digraph e sound in them um, i wonder if you can spot the two words with the split e can you pause the video and tell your grown-up if you can spot them? I wonder if you got them right. The two words are complete, which of course we wrote a minute ago, and the ease, these. Now there's also a tricky word in this sentence. I wonder if you can spot that. Remember, a tricky word or a common exception word is a word that you don't sound out, you just look at it and you read it. Can you spot the tricky word? Pause the video and tell your grown-up. Did you spot it? The tricky word is here and it's you. The other two words I think you should be able to sound out with no problem. So I wonder, now you know all of that, can you put all those ideas together and read the whole sentence? Can you read it to your grown-up? Pause the video now. Right, let's see how you got on. Let's read it together. Can you complete these jobs? Can you complete these jobs? Oh, these children are completing their jobs. You might have a few jobs to do at home too that you need to complete. Um, so this kind of sentence, it's a question. How do we know it's a question when we look at it there? What does it have in that sentence? Can you pause the video and tell your grown-up? Did you spot that we've got a question mark at the end instead of a full stop? And of course, with a question, you can give an answer to that question. So hopefully, when you're reading your books at home, you'll be able to read some of those split E words. But it's not that easy to learn to read is it? it's quite tricky so I was just gonna say to be careful because obviously some words with the split E at the end you sound out like the E's Swede and Eve that we've learned about but some words can try and trick you these two tricky words here look it looks like it's a split E at the end but it's not they're tricky words you just read the whole word. And we've learnt those this week, haven't we? There and were. So just be careful. Okay, have a lovely rest of the day. And do let us know how you got on with phonics. Don't forget to send in your pictures or your mum can send in an email to say how you get up, you've got on. Have a nice day.